how to turn pain into power. All right, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story right here, all right? I know you might wanna click off, but just follow me. So I've been in a custody battle for like two years, okay? This custody battle got to a point where like, I wasn't even seeing my, my daughter. Imagine the pain that came from that. Imagine the pain that comes from not seeing your kid. I wanna explain how I was able to turn that pain of not seeing my kid and going through this ups and downs of this custody battle, how I turned that pain into power. The first thing that I had to learn how to do was to accept my reality, accept the situation for what it is. You can't change it. What's done is done. Learn how to move past it. So that was what I really had to first learn was just to accept. It's not easy to do. And I'm not trying to sit here and act like it is easy to do. It's one of the hardest things you will ever do. Now, the second thing I had to do was to not blame other people, blaming my ex, blaming whomever. It don't even matter. I'm not even trying to talk about her. What I'm, I'm using her as an example. But what I'm saying is not blaming anybody, any situation you're in. All you're doing is wasting your time, wasting your energy, putting your attention on things that it does not need to be on. This is key to, to transforming pain into power. All right. And this ultimately is going to help you on your personal growth journey. All right. The third thing that I had to do and that I suggest you do is get better at evaluating yourself, learning how to do an internal inventory on yourself. Once you can learn how to do this, once you can take that internal inventory, once you can learn how to look at yourself, because most people don't want to look at themselves. We can't stand doing it because we, we're afraid of what we might see. But I want you to get comfortable looking at yourself. And I mean going past the surface, going deeper and understanding yourself. And yes, I'm talking about self-awareness. I talk about it in damn near all my videos. All right, this is what's gonna be very helpful for you in being able to transform these tough times, all right? So once you can learn how to evaluate yourself, you can learn how to work with it, all right? And this is what I had to do. And I'm going back to that example, this, this child custody thing that I'm in and, and stuff like that. Man, when I was in the thick of this, and I'm talking about hurting, you know, like in bed, like, ah, uh, you know, I had to start looking at the situation like, all right, what can I learn from this? What can I take from this situation and apply it to my life and make me better so I'm not in another situation like this again? I had to reframe my experience. I had to change all this up. I'm using that example because that is one of the hardest things that any of us will go through. So if I was able to get through that, I'm not even going to say get through it because I'm still dealing with it right now. I'm still having to go through certain things right now to rebuild my relationship with one of my children. And it's still not easy, but thankfully I got some of these tools that make it a little bit easier. I know that you might be going through something super tough, all right? And I want you to try to reframe that tough situation that you're in. What can you take from it? What can you learn from it? What did you do to put you in this position? What was your part in the dance? That's what life is, man. We're, we're, we're dancing with other people. We're dancing, whether it's your coworkers, whether it's your partner, whether it's your children, it's like a dance. And we bring ourselves to the dance. But if we don't know ourselves, we don't know how we're showing up until we're in these super tough situations. And the first thing we want to do is say, F you, it's your fault that I'm in this instead of looking at it like, damn, all right. Naturally, I want to say it's your fault, but what can I do to turn the light on myself? How can I improve my own personal growth? What can I take from this and apply this to my life and turn this pain into power? This is very powerful once you learn how to do this. You can use this in any situation, but it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of mental fortitude. It takes a lot of intention to be able to do this. And again, I know you out there struggling with something. We all got something on our plate, but you have the ability to turn that pain into power by doing these few things that I'm telling you. So let's go ahead and just review real quick. Accept your reality. It is what it is, no matter the situation that you're in. You, you can't change it. All you can do is control what you can control. So stop blaming other people as well too. It doesn't do you any good to do that. Also, learn to evaluate yourself. 
learn to check yourself. That takes a lot of practice. That takes a lot of skill. The way that I was able to do it is learning how to meditate. Now, I know you might be like, how the hell does meditation help you learn to evaluate yourself? Now, I'm not going to get all super deep into it right now. But what I'm saying is meditation allows you to become more comfortable with you, your thinking, your thought process. A lot of us are on autopilot and we don't even realize like how we're processing certain things. It's happening so automatic, so fast. You're not even able to catch it and realize what is even going on. So meditation allows you to get comfortable with your way of thinking. When you sit in stillness, when you sit and you're doing this for 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you start working up to, I promise you, it's going to unlock something in your mind that you have never experienced before. And that is going to allow you to be more calm in situations. It's going to allow you to be more self-reflective in situations. And it's going to allow you to be able to slow down a bit more and take pieces from the bullshit that you might be in. And be able to take those pieces and like, just look at yourself and be like, how can I turn this into a positive? How can I take this negative situation and flip it upside down on his head and learn something from it and apply it to my next relationship? Apply it to the relationship that I have with my kids. Apply it to anybody I interact with in this world at the grocery store when, when I'm cashing out, how I interact, how I talk. You have the ability to flip it. But these are just some key components to help you learn how to flip it. If this video provided you with any value, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're into personal growth, if you're into learning yourself. Also, if you're somebody who's trying to improve your connections with people, who wants to learn how to communicate better and have people like gravitate towards you because they can trust you and they know that you'll listen to them. If that's you, make sure you check out this video right here and I'll see you there. Peace.